Someone challenged me to make a mushroom house, and since mushrooms are my favorite food, uh, how could I not? I made it a tiny house, so you've got all the perks if you've got tiny living. Uh, all the increased skill gain, the lower bills, all the kind of stuff. I started off with making the base of the mushroom, and then I took a lot of time making the roof the right shape. I got a lot of, out of it out. And I think I succeeded very well. I found red roof covering, uh, some without shingles. I'm not in, uh, quite sure what kind of material it is, but it, it looks quite nice. I would have preferred if it were a little bit more red, but it's still red. And now I'm figuring out how to make dots on the roof. Turns out I couldn't. Uh, for some reason those uh, uh, rugs I'm now trying to put on the roof do not show when uh, when they come close to the roof, they just disappear. I tried some rocks and uh, I needed to rotate them a little, but it can only be done when an object has three dimensions. And these, these rocks didn't have that, so I couldn't rotate them using tool, which sucked, but you know, uh, the roof doesn't have any spots, but I did put some decoration on top of it. I placed a natural looking wallpaper on the on the bottom so it uh, looked more like a mushroom. The, these two butterflies are toys. I thought it looked so cute. I wanted it to look a bit like a, a, a toy ma a mushroom house, a place where gnomes live. And those uh, flowers in the front as uh, one of the stuff, uh, backyard stuff back, I don't, I'm not really sure. I sized up all the grass and the flowers. That way it looked like a actual sized mushroom. <laughs> it looked really cute. I started placing flowers on the roof trim, but when you put the walls down, you still see those. And I thought it was really annoying if you want to play in this, so I am going to remove it. I did try to limit packs. The most important ones are Realm of Magic, obviously, as you see me placing the windows and the door, and the one where you go to visit Salvadorado. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the pack is called. But yes, th those two are the most important ones. If you have uh, no other packs, there might be some small stuff missing, but. That's most of what, uh, what I used. Uh, those mushrooms I placed in front are from Realm of Magic. I thought it uh, makes the mushroom house blend in more with the environment. I sized up some flowers too. I thought the colors looked really, really pretty. It's just, uh, just really colorful. And some daisies here in the front. And I made a small pathway. And now I'm making sure there are no there's nothing sticking through the, the walls. I wanted it, it to be off the grid, this, uh, this whole place, so I was struggling with finding lights. These are debug lights. They disappear when you go into live mode. You just see them in build mode. Um, and they do light up the place very well. I am gonna place another pendant light just to light it up even further. This toilet and uh, the shower are, are, uh, and the sink are also of the grid and the kitchen appliances will be too. These skulls are from realm of from uh, the vampire pack so if you don't have that one you might need to uh, ex exchange them for something else but I thought it just looked really cozy some uh, some candles on the wall and I really like the natural look of this bed and this dresser. I placed wood on the floor and yes, a, a natural looking wallpaper, just like the uh, like the outside, just to make it seem that you really are inside of a mushroom. I thought that uh, that was cute. I'm using Realm of Magic bookcases here, the really big ones, because I made the wall height the tallest height just to make the dimensions look a bit okay with the uh, with the rooftop. So I could use these really really big bookcases and of course flowers everywhere because it just makes the place feel more alive. I realize those circles are a bit in the way 
but they give off a lot of light and I thought that uh, they wasn't worth it and of course they disappear when you go into lift mode. These kitchen appliances are off the grid as well and I really like these, uh, these cabinets on, uh, on the, in the kitchen and placing some top cabinets as well uh, because the corners are so weird I couldn't really place corner cabinets and I needed to alt place all the cabinets I'm not entirely happy with how it turned out I couldn't uh, get them aligned exactly the way I wanted to but I think it's still still okay and in the middle a really really big around dining table just as the center of uh, of the space and of course more flowers and then the rug i had so much fun with this rug i wanted to have a mushroom rug so i sized up a red round rug and i sized down a lot of white round rugs and <laughs> i thought it just looked really really cute and i'm using more realm magic windows just because i think those are pretty and you don't really need curtains with uh, with these because they are glass stained windows and not uh, not see through i placed a thing there where you can make lemonade i think it's from uh, spa day and of course there need to be a, a gnome in here it's, it's, uh, yeah you have to and a big light and here are the few screenshots i have i really hope you liked this video if you did please press like if you didn't know i place new sims 4 videos here every day so i hope to see you tomorrow Bye bye.